Loco was... Where was Loco? There we go. Oh, is it? Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I don't know, but humans are, so I'm using the colloquial home. I don't know how to say words. I did, a very long time ago. <laughs> I love that you can't actually survey any of these. That was like four years ago, God. Hey, Pluto's a planet still. Nice. Luna? It's the moon. Okay, is the moon actually called Luna? I, I actually don't know. Oh, let me fuck on Mars. Fits. Check out the debris first. Human. <laughs> El Mano. Herman. Hermano. Your kid, hombre. <laughs> Got to name your moon. What did I hit? I didn't even pay attention. Like, what the fuck did I hit? Shit. Do I have any armor upgrades on these guys? Not really. Shit. Okay, so got incendiary rounds, right? Okay, so I got incendiary rounds, and then I already have incendium. I don't have any any upgrades for those guys. Holy shit. Okay, it's oh, that's Krogan. God. Oh shit, yeah. Hey, you get enough. Oh, look at a badass, dude. Sweet. That's right. The moon's official name is the moon. <laughs> oh my god, that is that does seem kind of lazy when you think about it. We're whalers on the moon. We whale with a big harpoon. But there ain't no whale, so we tell tall tales. We're whalers on the moon. I don't know if those are the right lyrics or not, but they make sense to me. They speak to me. On a primal level. Yoshi. <laughs>
Oh, they're firing at me already. This is a rhyme. <laughs> That's one. That's two. Can I... Two points, let's go. Ooh, I can max my charm. 8% discount, right? Oh shit, I should do that. Eh, maybe next time. Well, you know, actually health is not a bad idea. Okay, let's go. Is it powered now? We're trying to some kind of Amazon fulfillment center. God. <laughs> so in the Mass Effect universe, AI is artificial intelligence, things like the Geth, and VIs are just like computer programs that are made to just kind of holy sh holy shit okay that went a little sideways oh my god Jesus! God damn. Charging up. Good God! I, I, wow. I know I was running into something bad, but I didn't think it was going to be that bad. <laughs> Whoops. Here, what's cover? I don't know. I'm just a dumb, dumb, dummy. Yeah, let's go right. What are these things? Oh, do I have to take these out? Yes. They didn't enter the bunkers. Oh, great. I like how it's only affecting Garrus. At least he's the only one that's green. Perimeter clear. Charm. <laughs> he's fittest when he eats charm. Oh, Falcon. Flicker or die. The first of three get fucked. Negative contacts, and Commander. Garrus is just slowly fucking dying. 
<laughs> I keep wanting to use B to run when it's A. I don't know. All right, I disabled the VI. It does, it sounds very, yeah, it does kind of sound like, like a music box. It's kind of weird. I'm hitting back. I'm trying to go backwards. What the fuck? All right, next bunker. Let's go. I don't know how to heal Garrus. So he just, he'll be fine, I'm sure. Shit, I fucked up. Ooh, that was close. Medium human armor. X. I mean, I lose 10, but, but I get two things, and... Eh, I don't like the look of that, though. Like at all. <laughs> but, I mean, it does... Eh, fuck it. It's better than what I... I mean, it is better what I, than what I had, technically. No, that's not what it... God damn it. Why would you do that? There, that's the one I want. Um, shield recovery. Ooh, extra shields. I'll go damage. Whoops. Protection. Shield recovery. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, that works. I like how it just basically implies that Shepard is just literally changing in front of these guys in the middle of a mission. down probe uranus into oh god where'd the cover go oh, shit, shit. Okay, Rex, get the fuck in here. Of course you did. Of course you died. Well, like, what the fuck happened to my cover? It was there, and then suddenly, just boom, gone forever. Like, WTF. Feels okay.
He said kill them all. All clear. Alright, so how has everyone been? Have you all have been well lately? out of here oh everything okay I hope everything's okay Oh yeah, yeah. I had a feel that's what you're talking what you meant, but I just wanted to make sure. Alright, two down, one to go. Let's do this shit. And then go after Saren. I've been playing this game for two fucking hours. I haven't done shit all yet. Like, seriously. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't done this one yet. I'm so sorry! <laughs> Don't be, I'm the one that's the idiot that took forever to find fucking Father Kyle. Jesus. We got them all, Shepard. Wait, am I in no, wrong one. Okay, that kind of sucks. Body just fucking bounces. God. Did he? I get really, sir. I literally got you just fucking scared. Perimeter clear. Oh, he's getting up. Okay, good. I just say. <laughs> What have you done? I did not. Hey, I got him up twice, okay? I've done nothing wrong. Digital security runs. No! Oh, they're just in there. Okay. I'm okay with that. I hate how they fucking... Guys! Guys! Yeah, I see it, but why are you getting me too? Friendly fire, you sons of bitches. Just 
the way I like it. Burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly de deafens you. Your heart suit's heads up display inter interprets it as a series of zeros and ones. They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights of the final VI cluster flicker and die. Specialization class achieved. What does that mean? Your specialization will replace your base class and the talents on the squad. Oh! Talent ranks your base class transfer audio specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view your bonus. Oh! Oh shit! Highly trained killing me. Shock trait is solving all. Increase health, increase damage reduction, immunity, increase your and ability. Commando. Increases damage with all weapons, immunity ability, marksman ability, assassination ability. Wh which do I pick? I think this will probably be the one to go. Because that's like, okay. I feel like, yeah, I feel like I want to do commando. Just speak for the, the damage to all weapons. Yeah. I have no points in pistols or shotguns, oh no. I mean, it's better than what I got. Better than what I got. Better than what I got. And that's all just pretty much the same old, same old, okay. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. Uh, let's go with that, yes. And finally, the big boy. Okay, let's get the fuck out of here. All targets down. Yay, I'm a specialization. I keep hitting the wrong goddamn button. Oh, fuck it. Yay, I saved the moon. so hungry right now and i had i literally had food just before stream too so i don't know okay now we need to do we're doing the main quest now um go to elos no really go to elos okay let's fucking do it elos Let's go. Oh, I have chips. I have potato chips. Mm. Nom, 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 nom. Can't survey. Can't survey. All right. Elos it is. Let's stop this motherfucker. The Golden Age of the Protheans, Elos was a verdant world dotted with the spires and arches of magnificent cities. Even casual observation shows this is no longer the case. Elos has been devastated by means unknown. Its entire surface changed to the color of rust. The atmosphere shows heightened levels of oxygen. Wildfires, presumably ignited by lightning strikes, can be seen burning on the dark side. This indicates that most, if not all, uh, respirating animal life forms have died off. Surface gravity is a comfortable 1.17 standard G's. Day like this, 54.5 hour, Earth hours. Damn. All right.
I'm not gonna fuck you. Commander. For now, the Alliance has to catch me before they can strip my rank. What do you need? I don't want to speak out of turn. I mean, I hope we're close enough after everything we've said already. You, we're not. What happens if this doesn't work out, Shepard? Will we mutinied, stole a prototype warship. If they wanted to get technical, they could throw in kidnapping. <laughs> We're a hell of an example of humanity's best and brightest, huh? Stop your fucking whining. I don't know about the example part, but as far as saving the galaxy, how good are first-timers supposed to be? I'd be mad, too. <laughs> Fair enough. It'll really hit the fan when we get to Ilos. If things don't go well... Oh, I Ilos. I kept saying Ilos. Well, I've enjoyed serving under you. Um... No! 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 Ah! How? How? I've talked to him once! This is... This is the worst thing to happen in the history of anything. Ah, fuck it. Caden, I don't think I've had the pleasure of you serving under me. Don't you think it's time to rectify that? No! <laughs> I walked right into that, didn't I? We could get drummed out of the service for fraternization. Of course, we'll probably get the firing squad for mutiny. You know what? You're right. About everything. I think about losing. How did this happen? The galaxy will just keep going. Everything, even the Reapers, will come around again. But you and I... This is what will never happen again. Us. No, Shepard, it'll never happen again. Feel... Thank God. Oh. Hold that thought. There'll be time for us when this is over. Thank God. I promise. No, no, you're going to die. This is too important to risk messing up the team. <sighs> anything happens to you. I... Take care, Shepard. If you keep me waiting much longer, it damn well better be the end of the galaxy. Bridge to Commander Shepard. We're five minutes out from the Mew Relay. I, I am not here. I am I am fucking not here for your fucking blue balls, Caden. I'm coming up. Prep the ship for silent running. Ugh. Aye, aye, ma'am. I don't, like, I maybe talked to him, like, a couple times? And I don't, I thought I was just friendly. I wasn't fraternizing with him, though. And it just, oh, my God. It's one of those kind of things. Ew. Just ew. God, can you imagine if I was, if I was male ship? and saved Ashley, she'd be the one trying to jump on my bone there. Oh, God. Ugh. God, tell me, tell me he can die, right? Like, I can send him on some suicide thing again? Please, please, please. Uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time on foot. Get us something closer. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least 100 meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like that. The most I can find near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The Why is everyone yelling? Is deep. <laughs> it's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. Lamb. I can do it. <laughs> Joker. Joker. I can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. All right, let's go, boys. Inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. 
There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Saren found some way to open it. There must be some kind of security override somewhere in this complex. We'll have to find some way to get it up and running again. All right, let's fucking go. I'm a little busy here. I'm basically only in the Mako to make shooting these dudes a little easier. <laughs> Got him. Okay, Dora, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Really appreciate it. I don't think I'm at the, like the end of the game, am I? Right? Oh shit. Very close. Okay, that's cool. Can I get through with the uh, Mako? I cannot. No, that's okay. I mean, if you guys need to go and sleep, that's totally okay. I totally understand and get it. I can't make oh no. Okay, I'm backing up because <clears throat> Okay, that that works too. <laughs> can just lure it back to the hole. I can use the Mako to take it out. <laughs> Ow. Oh, but Garrus is just not helping. that one out. Somebody. Okay. Um, 
Hey, is this where I'm supposed to go? Get a big on this, Falcon. Nice. Oh, I thought those were dudes. <laughs> oh, these fucks. There's one. There's a guy over there. <laughs> you dumb fuck. These Protheans? Hmm. Weird. Going back up the way I came from. God damn it. <laughs> oh, no, 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 it doesn't look like it. to go around this way, I think. Or maybe not. Holy shit. Oh, I got it. Wow. Um, wait, this is where we came from. Okay. Where the fuck do I need to go to that elevator, but I can't get there. That's where we landed. Courtyard. Oh, there's another. Okay, maybe I just went in a really roundabout way the wrong way. Whoops. going no I went the wrong way again didn't I yeah cuz I'm in a different fucking hell okay fine I'm a colony princess are you happy now fuck <laughs> no sense of direction none zip zero zilch god 
Okay, now I'm going the right way. I'm just, I'm just floored by myself, to be perfectly honest. Like, I get so turned around, and then I'm like, oh, wait, have I been here before? No, I guess not. And then, oh, wait, yes, I have. Going down there is a dead end, so I'm going to go this way. To be home soon. Shit, there they are. Gareth, I swear to God. Showing me your ass. Stop it! Oh my god, really, guys? I swear to Christ. And I get fucked. Okay, up, we're jammed. There's still gonna be some shit happening. Sort of do. <laughs> Falcon. Oh, it's those, it's those stupid jumpers. Where are they? Uh, make you overheat like crazy. Keep going, boys. We got him on the ropes. In other news, the double blah 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 blah. <laughs> Gentlemen, oh, shit. Uh, there went my shields, fuck. Why does he keep look? Good lord. Too much shit happening, it can't handle it. Oh, 
Oh my god, die! What the fuck are you? Guys, get get him! Holy fuck! Dude! Quarian, thank you so much! For using your prime your eight months five months streak that's amazing thank you so much for that support really appreciate it did i finally get that one no oh, it's all jammed okay get prime that's what it is okay oh no, he didn't like that grenade holy shit there we go. Got him. Armature repair station. Hard decryption. Just use the Omni Gel. What? Oh, was that? That was to help me. Oh my god. Real? Really? It's <laughs> like, oh, whoa. Oh god. And no, I'm just. <clears throat> I, I wish I would have known that. I few minutes ago that would have been nice Fuck. oh well ah security panel here we go come on saren's already got a head start we have to go find him before he reaches the conduit unless he's already found it then we're just walking into a trap that's a chance we'll have to take hold on something's happening too late unable to Invading fleets. No escape. Sounds like some kind of message. But I don't recognize the language. It's probably in Prothean. This recording must be 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge inside the archives. What's it saying? Can you make out anything useful? Fault Reapers. The Citadel. Overwhelmed. Only hope. Act of desperation. The conduit. All is lost. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. Cannot be stopped. Hmm. Okay, so now I just turn your vehicle and fall Sarah into the underground. Okay. Now we return to the Mako. I wish that would come with me. I just, I wish it would come with me. <laughs> oh. It's like, shortcut? No, of course not. Why would there be a shortcut? Haha, <laughs> you dip. You get nothing! That's why it was going weird. There's like a loading thing back and forth. Okay, so where do I... Oh, I could just... God damn it. I... The game gives me breadcrumbs, and it kind of gives me ways to do things and where to go, and I just ignore them wholeheartedly. I'm like, <laughs> nice suggestion, tee hee hee hee. There we go. I like how it's all overgrown because it's been here for 50,000 fucking years. There we go. Hee hee ho ho if you will, Chevy! <laughs> Indeed. Okay, good, we're moving. I was like, are, is anything happening? Because I couldn't see anything. Ugh. All right, 
right. Oh, we're back here. Excellent. That was the shortcut. Sweet. I hope the Mako's not stuck, because I was just so too concerned. We take the vehicle into the creepy underground bunker. Ha! Good idea. The firepower will come in handy. Let's fucking go! I thought Saren would have set some kind of trap or ambush for us. They must have been in too much of a hurry. Oh, it's just a fucking corridor, okay. We just haven't run into it yet. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> I'm like invested now. <laughs> what are all those things on the wall? Some kind of containers? They look like stasis pods. Hmm. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Something must have gone wrong though. This bunker. Be Ooh, Where's the one I'm missing? <laughs> They're just right there. Nice. Yo, Scar, how you doing? Can't make up lost time. Oh, what is that? What's happening? It's a trap. Saren must have set an ambush. I don't think Saren's behind this. <laughs> it's a trap! Oh. No! Shit! What? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> God. Shh, this fucking game. <laughs> I didn't think it would fucking turtle me, though. This is pretty cool looking, though. What do you think we're going to find down there? It has to be useful if it specifically targeted us. Don't get your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. Ooh. What's this? You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do not sense the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment. But that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. Are you some kind of artificial intelligence program? I am an advanced non-organic analysis system with personality imprints from Kesad Aishan, chief overseer of the Ilos Research Facility. Why did you bring me here? You must break a cycle that has continued for millions of years. But to stop it, you must understand, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. What? When the Citadel relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through 
and all you know will be destroyed. What? How come nobody ever noticed the Citadel was an inactive mass relay? The Reapers are careful to keep the greatest secrets of the Citadel hidden. That is why they created a species of seemingly benign organic caretakers. Those the dudes! Keepers maintain the station's most basic functions. They enable any species that discovers the Citadel to use it without fully understanding the technology. Reliance on the Keepers ensures no other species will ever discover the Citadel's true nature. Not until the relay is activated okay. and the Reapers invade. This game has been out for a while. I had no idea that was the main twist. I didn't know the fucking Citadel was the... Oh my god. How do the Reapers survive out in dark space? We have only theories. The researchers here came to believe the Reapers enter prolonged states of inactivity to conserve energy. This allows them to survive the thousands and thousands of years it takes for organic civilization to rebuild itself. But in this state, they are vulnerable. By retreating beyond the edges of the galaxy, they ensure no one will accidentally discover them. They keep their existence hidden until the Citadel Relay is activated. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack! That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel and threw it the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our Empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, wow. the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. The war was lost. If you'd surrendered, they might have let you live. No offer of surrender was ever given. Our enemy had a single goal. The extinction of all advanced organic life. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across every settled region of the galaxy. Some worlds were utterly destroyed. Others were conquered, their populations enslaved. These indoctrinated servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. They were relentless, brutal, and absolutely thorough. I don't understand. Where did the Reapers go after they conquered your people? Our worlds were stripped bare, harvested by the indoctrinated slaves. Everything of value, all resources, all technology was taken. Certain that all advanced organic life had been extinguished, the Reapers retreated back through the Citadel Relay into dark space, sealing it behind them. All evidence of the Reaper invasion had been wiped away. Only their indoctrinated slaves were left behind, abandoned. Mindless husks, no longer capable of independent thought, the indoctrinated soon starved or died of exposure. The genocide of the Protheans was complete. What do the Reapers get out of this? Why do they keep repeating this pattern of genocide over and over? The Reapers are alien, unknowable. Perhaps they need slaves or resources. More likely they are driven by motives and goals organic beings cannot hope to comprehend. It's fun. In the end, what does it matter? Your survival depends on stopping them, not in understanding them. How can I stop them? You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay. One that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. Conduit's not a weapon. It's a backdoor onto the Citadel. How did you manage to stay hidden? All official records of our project were destroyed in the initial attack on the Citadel. While the Prothean Empire came crashing down, Ilos was spared. 
We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. How did you survive? I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. Oh, one by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? He couldn't let everyone die. Better to sacrifice some so others could live. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. Makes sense. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I <laughs> saved key personnel. When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. When the researchers woke, they realized the Prothean species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Oh, but they tried. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. I still don't understand what's going on here. Why is Saren trying to find the Conduit? The Conduit gives him access to the Citadel and the Keepers. The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Oh. Saren must have some plan to undo everything you did. The one you call Saren will use the conduit to bypass the Citadel's defenses. Once inside, he will transfer control of the station to Sovereign. Sovereign will override the Citadel systems and manually open the relay. And the cycle of extinction will begin again. Not this time. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. There's a data file in my console. Take a copy when you go. When you reach the Citadel's master control unit, upload it to the station. Can you just sing? Wow. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit. Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Let's talk some more. <laughs> if the Reapers are trapped in dark space, how did Sovereign get here? It is logical to assume the Reapers would leave one of their own behind after each extinction. A sentinel to pave the way for their inevitable return. Like those in dark space, Sovereign probably spent most of the last 50,000 years in a state of hibernation. Periodically, it would wake to analyze the situation. Keeping its existence hidden, it would evaluate the state of galactic civilization. And when the time was right, it would signal the Citadel and no. usher in the next Star. Reaper invasion. Not yet, but this time, the signal failed. Oh, the Keepers did not respond. Sovereign's allies were trapped in the void. Alone, it was forced to try and discover what had gone wrong. Sovereign's the largest ship in the galaxy. Why all this secret? Why not just attack the Citadel? Sovereign is not invincible. Revealing its true nature would have united the forces of every organic species against it. Even a Reaper couldn't survive such odds. <laughs> but the Reapers are patient. They will not rush into the unknown. Sovereign could have been planning this for centuries, moving deliberately, gathering allies. Slowly, it has assembled the pieces of the puzzle. 
working through agents to keep itself hidden. Saren is the most visible pawn of the Reapers, but I doubt he was the first. Now Sovereign has grown bold. Whether from confidence or desperation, I cannot say. But it is determined to reopen the portal to Dark Space. Beacons! What about the beacon on Eden Prime? And the one on Vermeer? What were they for? At our apex, the beacons span the breadth of our empire. We use them as a single galaxy-wide network to transmit data and communications rapidly from world to world. Virtually all the beacons were destroyed during the invasion, but once the Reapers were gone, the survivors here on Ilos decided to risk sending out a message. We knew it was unlikely there were other survivors, but if there were, we wanted them to know about Ilos. We wanted to give them hope, so a message was sent across the network. Yeah, quite the risk. You could have exposed yourself to the Reapers. In truth, we didn't expect any of the beacons would still function, but we had to try. If there were survivors, we had to reach them. The message was meant for our own people. It was coded so only organic beings could interpret it. We still didn't understand the power of Reaper indoctrination. We never realized it could lead an agent of the machines, like Saren, to this world. But it has also led you here. So perhaps we did not fail after all. Keepers, yeah. Those... So when the Reapers created the Citadel, they created the Keepers as well? A more likely scenario is that the Keepers were one of the early harvested civilizations. Perhaps the very first. Perhaps they responded well to indoctrination, or the Reapers simply bred them to be obedient. In any case, they were left behind to operate and maintain the Citadel. But the Keepers are no longer directly controlled by Sovereign or its ilk. They evolved so that they only respond to the signals emitted by the Citadel itself. When the Protheans altered the Citadel signals, they broke Sovereign's hold over the Keepers. <laughs> now, they're completely now harmless. they are completely harmless. Sovereign must have realized organic races were difficult to control. A likely hypothesis. The Keepers evolved in an unanticipated direction. Non-organic servants like the Geth would be more predictable. Protein scientists. What happened to the survivors from the Conduit Project? They used the Conduit to gain access to the Citadel, but the Conduit is only a prototype. The portal only links in one direction, so they were trapped on the station. Oh. I do not know what became of them then. It is unlikely they found any food or water on the station. I fear they suffered a slow, grim death. Damn. I only know they succeeded in their mission to seal the relay. Your presence here proves their sacrifice was not in vain. All right. Saren's got enough of a head start. Grab that data file and let's go. The one you call Saren has not reached the conduit. Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. Maybe uh, we would have cut up to him a little faster if I hadn't have been talking. I apologize for wanting to know the history of your species in 15 minutes. <laughs> I have made a terrible mistake. <laughs>